All right, so in this video, all I want to do is just give this plugin some basic functionality so that way we can test it across, you know, different projects and that kind of stuff. So all I'm going to do is just have a simple T subclass of so we can choose what actor we want to spawn and then just a simple spawn function that will spawn the actor, up, you know, above our head or something like that. So real quick, we're just going to do a U property. We're going to edit defaults only. And I'm actually not going to give it a category because that is something I need to show you later on when we actually go to build our plugin. So for now, I'm just going to do a T subclass of and of the type A actor. And I'm just going to call this one actor class to spawn. And I want a public section. I'm just going to do void spawn actor uh, above me. And we're just going to do... Uh, we don't really need to do anything actually inside of there. And we're going to create the definition. Well, I'm going to get rid of some of these comments. They're not needed. They don't really help anything. They just kind of clutter it. And what we're going to do in here is if, uh, what was it, actor class to spawn. What we will do is get world spawn actor. And we're going to do of the type uh, a, whoops, sorry a actor of the type actor class to spawn and here we are going to want to as well get the transform of which we want to spawn it so the other parameters that we can pass in are going to be location and rotation as well as just a simple transform so what we can do is construct the transform so first off, we need to do a check as well to confirm that our owner is valid. So if actor class of spawn is valid and get owner, so the owner of this component is valid, we want to get the transform. So f transform and call it owner transform. And that's going to equal to get owner get transform, like so. Now we just want to increase the z-axis to crank it up. So what we're going to do is owner, well, that's better yet, f factor current location equals owner transform dot get location and current location dot z is going to be plus equal. Let's do 500. Then we just have to do owner transform dot set location to current location. And that's it. Now we just pass in the owner transform to the function and that should be all we have to do so now let's make this callable from blueprint so you function blueprint callable and we can close down our editor and relaunch it alrighty once we're here let's go ahead and add this component to the provided third person example character quick go into my other monitor and here we're going to add our spawn assist so here's our spawn exist character component and right here we're going to add the actor class to spawn which in my case i just want to do let's see i don't really have any actors set so i'm going to create one really quick so i'll just do it in the directory so blueprint class of the type actor and let's call this one tutorial actor to spawn this is going to contain a static mesh, which is just going to be the cube. So let's compile and save that. And let's select our, what was it? No, it's tutorial. Yeah, tutorial actor to spawn. So that's, got, that's going to be the func or the actor that we spawn there. Compile, save. And then I'm just going to do on a key press. So let's just change this to like F. So when I press F, what I want to do is call spawn actor above me on our component that we just created. So hopefully when I press F, it will spawn something above us. So I press F and there's the cube. So I press F and I can just keep spawning cubes above me. Very great plugin, perfect functionality. And quite frankly, I think it should be sold for a high amount. Okay, so we have a 
plugin, let's say this is all we have and it is functional and is where we want it and we are ready to go ahead and submit it on the marketplace. We've confirmed that there is no obvious bugs or problems that we have found, so we are ready to go. So that is where we're going to leave off on this video. And in the next video, we're going to get ourselves set up for actually building out this plugin to be able to package it for submission. So that's why I wanted to leave some of these things without a category to show you some problems that you will probably run into later on. Well, that is going to be all for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for patrons, as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos, such as this one. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that is also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next one.